With me now, Commander Jeremy Butler of the U.S. Navy Reserves. He serves as the Chief Operations Officer, the IAVA, the Iraq and Afghanistan's Veterans of America. So, Commander, a pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you for all that you do. Um, your reaction to President Trump staying behind in, in the residence and not braving the elements Saturday? Yeah, it was disappointing. Um, you know, it's, uh, he goes all this way to commemorate the end of World War I. Uh, and, uh, you know, apparently a little bit of rain keeps him from honoring those that gave the ultimate sacrifice and have been laid to rest on foreign soil. You know, it's, uh, it's understandable to go over there for that event and not be here in the U.S. for Veterans Day, mm -hmm. but to then skip visiting a cemetery is a little bit of a slap in the face. Um, it's also kind of a distraction, I think, from the larger uh, issues of what's going on within the veteran and military community right now. Speaking of slap in the face, we just played the clip from President Macron standing there uh, speaking about patriotism and where Trump is right there, right, this avowed nationalist. Mm -hmm. I'm just wondering, when you have a close ally, France, you know, sitting there basically calling out the United States, what does that do to the reputation of America? I don't think it affects the reputation. I think it's raising the issue and trying to drive the point home about the importance of being engaged globally. You know, it's kind of ironic that this is coming up at the commemoration of the end of World War I, which was literally the event that drove the U.S. in many ways to become a global power. And we're now having this debate about, you know, are we receding back into nationalism? Uh, but the fact is we have to stay engaged globally. You know, we've got, you just teased it with a clip. We've got North Korea, uh, looks like they're building more nuclear weapons. We've got a rising Russian military. We have China that continues to operate uh, somewhat unopposed uh, in the Asian waters. Uh, if we don't stay engaged globally, uh, we're going to be overtaken. So this is how David Axelrod put it, a former Obama senior advisor. He tweeted watching all this over the weekend. Watching the events from France, I cannot recall a time when America seems so isolated. America first feels like America alone. Are we at that point? Does it feel like America alone to you? It, I think it can feel that way sometimes, but you have to remember how much more is going on outside of what the president is saying and doing. Um, even though he might speak of nationalism within our military, we're engaged around the world on a daily basis at levels that you know most people have no idea about you know we are constantly we're a global military uh, we're underway on the waters you know I was in the Navy I'm in the Navy Reserve now uh, we have troops and bases around the country operating 24 7 so you have to remember that not only military but diplomatically we're engaged nationally and internationally excuse me uh, and I think we're going to stay that way the question is how much does our president support our efforts to continue to do so and to continue to be a player on the world stage he says he does mm -hmm. He says he does, but I hear you on words and actions. Right. Uh, Commander Jeremy Butler, thank you for coming by. Thank